what's up my name is Techno, but here for troubleshoot and welcome back to another video this is going to be a video part of a new series that i'll be covering where i'm covering my own techno account switcher program if you don't already know i've coded a lot in my free time and that's where my past few weeks have been if you've noticed that my uploading is far more sparse basically i've been coding this techno account switcher of mine or at least huge new features to it where there's tons of new platforms added if you haven't already heard of this project, what it is, effectively, you open it up, simply choose yourself a platform, double click on an account and poof, say Steam will close and reopen logged into a different account. No need to worry about two factor, no need to worry about passwords. Effectively, it swaps out the last logged in user, username somewhere on your computer, closes the program and reopens it. Effectively, it's the same as shutting down your computer with one username saved and starting it up suddenly with a different username saved. The program in question, in this case, EA Desktop, will open up not knowing that you haven't just restarted your computer, you've just restarted the program and swapped out that username in a file somewhere. That's a super simple breakdown of what the program does and why it works not needing passwords or two-factor. Heck, you don't even need to tell the program your actual password. This program doesn't touch those at all. So without further ado, how exactly do we swap EA desktop accounts super fast as well as Origin? That's also included in this program. Well, in the description down below, head across to the GitHub page, github.com slash tcnobo slash techno account switcher. Then on the right hand side, look for releases and click the latest release over here. Scroll down to the very bottom of the page and you'll see a bunch of different files to download under the assets dropdown. The 7z and zip file over here are both portable versions of the program, just compressed a little bit differently. You'll need 7zip to open 7z. This one, including CEF, the Chrome embedded framework, is just a different way of using the program if WebView isn't working for you. Don't worry about that too much we'll be continuing on with the guide. Finally, what everyone is going to be downloading, the Techno Account Switcher Installer down at the very bottom here. Of course, you'll only really use these other ones if you don't want to install it or you need extra features. Clicking the installer here to download it, I'll click on it to open it up, and when it does open, we'll follow through with installing the Techno Account Switcher. Because this obviously isn't my first time installing it, steps will be a tiny bit different. Click yes if you're prompted, then click next, I agree, Next, and finally, install. Upon installing the program, a black window will open up, checking your computer for required runtimes. C++ Redistributable, Microsoft WebView, etc, etc, a bunch of official Microsoft programs. You may be asked to press a key in order to start the download and install them, and when it's done, press the key again, that black window will close and the Techno Account Switcher will then open up. When you see it on your screen, it should look something similar to this. All you have to do is look for EA Desktop. If you don't see it, click Manage Extra Platforms in the bottom right and simply make sure to check EA Desktop on this list here. Then click Close and you should see EA Desktop somewhere here. Upon clicking on it, you should see a blank window as well as the EA Desktop icon over here that you can use to start up EA Desktop as well as any accounts if you have them saved. Obviously, if you just installed the software, you won't have any accounts saved there. Anyways, opening up EA Desktop, you can see I'm currently logged into an account over here, Technobo Origin. In order to swap to another account, you'd have to log out, log back in using a password, two-factor, etc. But this program makes it really easy. I simply just locate my other account here, double-click in it, EA Desktop then closes, and it should reopen in just a moment, where I'm suddenly logged into a different account. I'll try not to do a jump cut here, hopefully it does it nice and fast. There we go, the window opened, and as you can see, I'm logged into a different account, Technobo ZA. Super simple, there's my other account over here. In fact, I switched so fast that it hasn't even comprehended that I've gone offline yet. So how exactly do you get this to work? Well, whenever you sign into an account, make sure that remember password is ticked. When you've signed into an account, head across to the Techno account switcher and click save current. Inside of here, you'll need to enter the name for whatever your current account is, or what you remember it by. I simply use the first bits of my email or the password, etc. Doesn't really matter. For you, it'll probably be the username. So you type in save current, take number, and click add. Then the EA desktop should close and it'll save the account here. All you have to do to add a new account is click add new at the very bottom. 
Note that beyond this point, you won't be clicking sign out with an EA desktop at all. Otherwise, it'll break that saved account as it'll have to create a bunch of new files. And long story short, you'll need to sign into it again, right click it in the account searcher, forget and save the account brand new. Super annoying, you will need to remember that. Don't sign out from EA desktop after you start using this program. When you see the screen over here, all you have to do is log in with a EA account. Of course, if you haven't done this before, it's the same as Origin. Email, password, and just remember that keep me signed in is ticked. Then after clicking sign in, ticking this, next, we should be logged into our EA account. There we have it. As you can see, I'm logged into Personson. Awesome. So I'll come into the account switcher, save current, and I'll type in person. Add current EA desktop account. EA desktop will then close and my account will then be saved. I can then double click on any other account. EA desktop will open up and I'll be signed into that one instead. Super simple. It works really smoothly and that's really about it. There's not too much else here to tell you about. It works well and it works well for a lot of other platforms. If you need guides for any of those, let me know in the comments down below and I'll probably get along to them. If you'd like any extra platforms added, you can either help add them yourself by checking out the wiki document that I'll have linked down below. The new system, the new update makes it super simple. Otherwise, you can simply leave platform suggestions down in the comments below or preferably the GitHub page. Besides that, the settings button in the bottom right, we can choose whether we want EA Desktop to run as admin, create a desktop shortcut to this account switcher. So when we open it up, it'll head across to this page here directly. And at the very bottom, we have the chance to clear cache, etc., which will clear these folders, hopefully saving you some drive space and fixing any issues if there's any caching issues with EA Desktop. Open the EA Desktop install folder. And finally, at the very bottom, we can back up and restore platform settings. Effectively, this should save different settings for the program and allow you to restore them at a different time. That's really about it for this guide. Thank you all for watching. Once again, you'll find the program and the source linked in the description down below. If you'd like to check it out, the source code is there. If you don't necessarily trust me, you can read through it yourself and build it from source code if you so wish. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno, but here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.